Two beginner-friendly Linux distros are fighting for your first install. Linux Mint 22.2 Zara promises elegance and long-term support until 2029. Pop OS by System76 goes after STEM pros and gamers with auto-tiling and hybrid graphics support. Slant ranks Mint 12th and Pop 16th, while G2 users rate Mint 8.2 for support and Pop 7.9. So, which one really delivers? Linux Mint is community-driven and based on Ubuntu LTS, offering Cinnamon, MATE, or XFCE desktops. Its interface mirrors Windows 7's start menu, easing the switch for newcomers. With 30,000 Debian-based packages and cautious updates, Mint focuses on reliability over Flash. DistroWatch consistently lists it among the most visited Linux distros, proving its longtime appeal. Pop OS, built by System76, uses Ubuntu as a base, but re-engineers GNOME into a streamlined productivity engine. Auto-tiling arranges Windows automatically, and hybrid graphic switching gives laptops better gaming and GPU performance. It includes full disk encryption, flat pack support, and a recovery partition for painless reinstalls. No snaps here. Pop keeps things lean. Now, use cases. Mint rules for Windows refugees and casual users wanting stability. The interface feels instantly familiar, media playback works right out of the box, and its forum community is famously helpful. It's a just works desktop that rarely surprises, in a good way. Pop OS, meanwhile, dominates for developers, gamers, and anyone chasing raw performance. Its newer kernels, Better NVIDIA support and workflow tools like auto-tiling turn it into a productivity powerhouse. Gamers love the optimization. Coders appreciate built-in GPU and AI libraries. Battery life and updates are tuned for performance over caution. You're trading predictability for speed. The biggest divide is community. Mint's forums feel like a neighborhood. Helpful, patient, active. Pop OS lacks that central hub, forcing users to Reddit and random threads. It's the classic trade-off, Mint's cozy stability versus Pop's fast-moving ecosystem. Performance numbers mirror the culture. Pop OS scores 10 out of 10 for product direction on G2, signaling rapid innovation. Mint's 8 out of 10 reflects its slower but steady evolution. Pop's newer kernels bring extra FPS and GPU efficiency. Mint's older ones bring peace of mind. Verdict? Mint wins for beginners, window switchers, and those who want a dependable daily driver. Pop OS wins for power users chasing innovation and performance. Stability versus progress. Choose your fighter. If this helped you pick your distro, excellent. I investigate operating systems promising simplicity, but sometimes hiding chaos under the hood. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. 
Catch you next time.